Yo guys, what is going on? It is your boy Nick from the Foot Market. You guys are getting an overnight upload tonight. We have a lot going on today and a lot to discuss. Brahimi at 48k, what in the hell uh, is going on? I don't even know. Um, anyways, we have a video tonight for you guys talking about these upgrades, everything that's kind of going on right now, how this whole winter upgrade stuff is going to go for the future, how you guys can make coins, the state of the market. I'm going to go through, I'm going to sell some stuff today. I've got to do that. We've got to go through and do a lot of stuff today. So I thought it would make a little bit more of just an interactive video with you guys today, just kind of going through, talking stuff through. And I know I put out a video, if you guys haven't checked it out, I did a full uh, video on the base icon upgrade SBC that came out on the channel a few hours ago. I'm triple uploading again. There's too much stuff going on in FIFA for me to not be triple uploading. I got to get you guys sorted with all this content. We got to talk about things that are going on. So I want to deliver that for you guys and be able to give you guys everything you need to know at any given time of what's going on in FIFA. I want you guys to understand everything that's happening. So that's why I'm kind of overloading you guys with a lot of videos, but hopefully you guys are enjoying them and all of that. So I just wanted to take you guys over really quickly to this EA uh, website, or rather just show you really quick on the screen so you guys can see. These are the players that all got winter upgrades today. So if you haven't seen already, Terreras, Footmas got a big upgrade. Uh, Van Dyke's got a big upgrade. Some cards, didn't they didn't do upgrades for all. So it looks like they're doing 23-man squad, up, squad upgrades. So they're not going to upgrade every single card this year. Uh, they're going to do it in the manner where they're just going to do upgrades uh, for some specific players, which is definitely interesting. I find that one interesting. Um, and I think that that's a, an interesting way of going about it. It looks like from what uh, Zaro, the EA uh, community manager, tweeted out that they're going to be doing an upgrade every 10 days. Or no, every day, sorry, over 10 day span, which is cool, right? That's good and all, but that's what's going to go down. Um, we've got Prime Icon moments that came out today. Uh, so for foot. Uh, Foot 19 Prime Icon Moments, a brand new icon that celebrates a special moment in an icon's career, uh, which propelled them to the top of the footballing world. 34 select icons will have uh, special Prime Icon Moments versions released during Winter Refresh, with more select Prime Icon Moments to follow during the course of Foot 19. The Prime Icon Moment uh, represents the highest rated version of an icon in Foot 19. So if you guys go onto the menu right now, you guys will start to be able to see that there are some Prime Icon Moment cards. You guys can see on the menus, Desai has one, he's 4 mil. There's some pretty looking cards here on the menus. They have some really nice images and they have huge upgrades. They actually have much bigger upgrades than the upgrades that we were originally told that what they had, which is a really good sign. So they have some nuts upgrades. These cards look absolutely insane. And I think all of us want to get our hands on a lot of these cards uh, at this point in time. Some of these cards just look absolutely insane. And I really, really do uh, want to try some of these cards. They do look nuts. So that's what's going on with those cards. We'll take you guys back to this screen over here. Ones to Watch Winter Edition. So we have a bunch of Ones to Watch cards. The Ones to Watch will automate update when they get an, an inform. You guys know how that works. Ratings refresh. So from February 15th, which is today, to the 24th, over 100 of the most deserving Foot 19 player items will have their ratings updated. So as you guys saw today, a lot of the thing that happened, the common trend today, was that cards that actually got that ratings refresh upgrade actually kind of crashed in value. That's kind of the story of what's been going on with these ratings refresh cards. And that's kind of, it makes sense, right? That's what we've been talking about, selling the hype. So a lot of cards today crashed because they didn't do all the upgrades at the same time. And so people were really impatient with a lot of cards and they wanted to get out of them, which to me, I understand. Um, and it makes sense to me, guys. But just keep in mind, boys, that, you know, like it's, it's something to keep in mind, guys, that there is a potential rise in the hype every day as we go. We don't have a direct schedule, so Bundesliga should be tomorrow. It's not necessarily tomorrow, but it should be tomorrow. And it looks like through every day we're going to get a certain league. League squad building challenges update from February 15th to the 24th. Every league SBC will be updated with the addition of new players. Uh, so what they've done as well, and just I'm trying to keep you guys updated on everything you need to know informational-wise on foot. Wow, those are some crazy lazy buyers. Oh, my God. I'm going to take a picture. That one's crazy. Um... But just so you guys know, because I want to keep everybody in the loop, they've released uh, some SBCs, boys, um, going on here. Uh, so for the league SBCs, for every refresh now, they're going to drop a new player available in, in an SBC. So now for the Premier League, there's Lanzini. And I think for the Champions League, Championship League SBC, there is also a uh, Leroy Fur. So it's just... It's pretty cool, man. I think that's a pretty cool addition, and it's something that EA has worked into there that I think is awesome. Then you have skill moves and weak foot upgrades. Uh, getting upgraded to the five-star skills or weak foot is a big deal, and as a part of rating winter refresh, over 500 players uh, have had one or both attributes updated. In addition to this, just over 100 players have been added to foot, some transferring back from leagues or clubs not available in FIFA. Right? Cool. Winter refresh object objectives, rewards. During winter refresh, you'll be able to 
uh that one is you don't need all right that's something as well there is an objective right now in uh weekly objectives where if you guys want to go uh place i think it's you got to score seven times uh, seven different games of rivals. You get a once to watch player or tradable, which is pretty cool. Um, brand new players, uh, squad building challenges. So during winter refresh, this was a thing that a lot of people missed today. During winter, winter refresh, new Champions League and Europa League items will debut. So there's going to be two uh, SPCs, I believe. One UCL moments and one Europa League moments will be released during the course of winter refresh. In addition, there'll be two more flashback SPCs. So we're going to get flashbacks as well. It's pretty crazy, guys. Like we're going to get literally a league upgrade uh, winter refresh every single day. We're going to get some flashbacks. We're going to get uh, a moments player for the Europa and the Champions League, which is nuts. There's just so much going on right now. And it's like, I wanted to make this video to kind of talk to you guys about stuff. Market-wise, what's going on, things that are happening, just so everybody's kind of at the same wavelength or somewhat aware of what the hell is even going on. So I think for me, I'm going to sit here for a minute with you guys because I got I to gotta sell a few things and I want to talk about the market. So I think for me, the biggest thing that I saw today on the market was the panic of what happened when a card actually got upgraded. When cards were getting upgraded today, I've never seen people panic sell cards so much in my life. Cards were literally dropping out of the sky that were getting upgraded today. So I think a key to you guys is the people that don't, the, the people rather that have cards that have already upgraded or not been upgraded. I think the market's going to rebound, but I think right now we have to be realistic about the market and say, guys, there's just too much going on right now on the market. For me to really tell you guys that there's going to be any drastic rebound on this market. There's just so much going on, guys, that I don't know how really realistically much of this market is going to rebound. The only thing right now that I think is stable. Well, I'll tell you this. Team of the years and top tier stuff um, really, really rebounded today. A lot of team of the years, a lot of icons, a lot of people were panic selling them pre-SBC. And what happened was over time, uh, they started to... Uh, really rise back up that's kind of what's happened guys they really started to rise back up everything along the lines of that uh and that was due to uh just the buyback of people panic selling and then kind of buying back that happened today so that's already happened that rebound has already happened i think really man the only thing you guys want to focus on investment wise is probably um is probably 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 uh live cards i think that's really the only thing going forward that i actually am that crazy about i think live cards are pretty stable um i think that stuff going forward is going to be a move i think you guys will have a long time to buy them that's the thing as well i don't think there's really a rush on the sell time of live cards i think live cards for me uh kind of you you're gonna have this time uh, you're gonna have a long time to buy those cards in my eyes i think there's not much of a rush there um and you guys will do really 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 well long term on those cards i think those guys are, are really really have a high potential to stay rising in my eyes um i think that there's no way with champions league this week that those cards don't do well um so for me that's going to be something that you guys will probably thrive on and do well on um other things to talk about right like i think there's going to be some icon moment sbcs i don't know when they're going to come out they've kind of said that they're going to come out at a certain point but we don't know the exact date in which they do come out it's kind of impossible to project so with those, I, I don't know either. Those ones are a really tough call. Um, and it's tough to know exactly when those will come out. Um, all I can tell you guys is stay put. Um, there's, a, there's a big possibility that when those do come out, whatever is required for them, if it's a good one, say if it's like a Balak, um, it's going to go up a lot. The dynamic to me is really interesting of trying to figure out how the hell EA, because in their thing, um, they said that they were going to, they said in the, in the teaser kind of thing, what EA claimed was that, okay, we're going to let you submit a best if you have a best. How are they going to do that and make it kind of like accessible to everyone who doesn't have a best? I, I'm i really lost right now and I'm going to be very interested to see what is EA going to do, man? Like, I, I really don't know what this company is going to do and how they're going to sort this SPC out um, at all. I'm actually lost for the first time in a while. It's going to be very interesting to see how EA is going to handle all this, how they're going to do all this. Um, it's a first for me. I, I don't really know. Um, and I feel like I'm usually the guy that can sit here and tell you guys, I know what's going to happen. I don't know what's going to happen. I know that the market for me, usually when this stuff happens, guys, this is why I was trying to tell a lot of people to sell up, stay liquid. Usually when we have a market like this with so much going on, there's just not much room for the market in general to rise. Um, because you just have simply too much, for lack of better words, shit going on. There's just four promos going on at the same time everybody's in a state of panic it's just kind of this one big mess and i'm not sure long term how much this market specifically is going to be able to withstand this whole mess going on i just don't know uh the reason why i'm selling some of these guys right now is i'm trying to get some extra profit 
uh, on some cards uh, because I'm, there's a few other moves that I'm trying to make right now and I'm literally broke. So the reason why you guys are seeing me sell a few of the lives is just trying to grab some extra coins. What I'm doing right now is considering uh, potentially going all in on lives, man. That's that's kind of something that I've really been interested in doing. I bought a lot of these lives. I'm trying to. I'm not making profit on any of these. I'm trying to grab some extra coins. The Renatos I'm going to hold on to. Um, we've got five sales here. The market's a little glitched here. We sold a sun at 93, which is good. And I'm kind of just going through my club and clearing out some golds. A lot of people were asking me, hey, Nick, do you think headliners are too cheap? What do you think about the current state of some of the market? I think for me, guys, the problem with headliners right now in the market is you still can't find them. Nobody can find the damn headliners. So nobody really knows if they're a good buy or not. Everybody's lost regarding the headliners. So the headliners for me are a really tough call. I'm probably gonna go with saying no. I don't think they're an amazing buy. I think for me right now, the biggest thing you guys are gonna wanna do is just sit tight with coins. Um, I think 83s are really low right now, and I think that you do have a shout for tomorrow. This is something I want to talk about. There's going to be a ones to watch SBC, I believe, tomorrow, and I think with some of those cards, you do have a shout, guys, um, because I think there's a possibility that some of those cards go up. Um, very big possibility, because those usually um, fly. Every time I see that stuff come out, those kind of cards usually really, really do well in the market. Um, I think golds for you guys, unless you're like me and you're in a risk, you're in a rush a little bit of getting some extra coins. Golds are fine, man. Like golds for me, you can just lazy sell and continue to lazy sell. There shouldn't be much of a rush with any kind of gold. I think golds are, are very stable right now because you have this base icon SBC out and you're going to have people tonight doing this SBC a lot. There's not really a rush for me on this SBC for you guys to say, oh yeah, you guys got to go to this SBC now. Um, long term, the focus for me, guys, is going to be on Champions League this week. Everybody is just focused on Champions League. And I think everybody who's watching this video, you guys have to understand that. The money coming up is just in those Champions League cards. So if you have liquid coins, if you're kind of bored and you don't really know what to do with a lot of your coins, look at that stuff. Um, that stuff is going to be your big time money maker, in my opinion. That stuff is going to be the one that if you do want to go big, um, that stuff is really good. Wow, this is crazy. So Cavani an hour ago was 49k and now he's back up to 63. It's crazy, dude. So also there's like these trends of like if you can kind of and I'm not saying to do this, but I know a lot of traders that rig solutions. This is crazy because like some of these cards that I had earlier were so much less than what they are what they are right now and now they're just flying high and it's just for me, it's interesting to kind of watch these cards and what they're doing. Anybody who's taking losses right now with any cards that they held for the upgrade, kind of just sit tight. You should get a slow recovery over time. Um, you got to be patient with it. It's obviously not going to be fun or easy, um, but you should get a slow recovery as time goes on. There's not really a rush to take the loss. Um, you're probably today's market, team of the week, and this most of the market, you're probably at a low point today. Like to, you're probably not, in my opinion, getting much lower on the market than what today's market has been. The market, as you guys know today, kind of got trashed by a lot. So there's been so much that's been going on that it's just kind of had a really good time. It's had a hard time staying up um, because when you have all these simultaneous promos going on, obviously there's not much room for anything to rise much. What you will see is because they're spacing out upgrades a lot, you might see some panic jump on some cards that have been panic sold today. What I mean by that is there's some cards that were expected to get upgraded today. They didn't get upgraded today. And then people sold them like crazy. Witzel's one of them. So some of these cards, in my opinion, when they do get some pretty crazy upgrades, they might actually fly up, which is kind of going against anything I've ever said or anything I've ever seen. Usually when a card gets an upgrade, it just plummets in price because everybody was investing in it and then it just drops. But I'm saying that today there is a possible exception or tomorrow rather when these cards do come out because so many people just decided... I'm going to panic sell everything and so many cards that I've seen uh, have just literally tanked in value because of that reason. So that for me is going to be something interesting. I'll give you guys an example. I had this Outer Wild that I had bought. Well, this actually went up a ton. So he got a big upgrade. So he's actually up. And this was more of an unexpected upgrade. He got a plus two. Now he's at that price. So it's interesting to watch some of the, the blues, which are the Champions League cards, really kind of signify some of what's going on with the market, which I just, I'm just finding this all interesting because this is like one big it's like a like a big Ponzi scheme of like what's going up one hour and what's going up the next hour. And it's just all a crazy mess. So I wanted to get a video out for you guys tonight. Just kind of talking you guys through what's going on, a little bit of everything. Hopefully you guys enjoy the video. I know it's going to go up a little bit later. I'll have a bunch of videos for you guys tomorrow. We'll talk about everything. Obviously, there's like nonstop content right now. I've got a video for you guys, which will hit some base icon SPCs. I know some of you guys want to watch some of those. And I'll get that out for you as soon as I can. Guys, thanks for watching the video today. See you guys in the video soon. Peace out.